What's up, Leo? We're going to be doing your weekly reading. This is going to be for June 22nd to the 28th. I am going to do things a little differently this time. I'm going to start you off with a Mystical Wisdom Oracle card. This is actually my personal deck. I don't use this much um, for collective or even my personal readings, but I was really called to use it. So we're going to accept it and go with the flow. Let's see what's going on with my Leos for June 22nd to the 28th. Just so you guys know, you do get $10 off your first personal hour-long reading with me from June 10th to the 20th. So go ahead, check that out. If it's something you're interested in, just shoot me a message on my site. Let's see what's going on for you guys for June 22nd to the 28th. Show me what I need to see. That was quick. Wow, letting go opportunity, yeah, opportunity knocks. Bottom of the deck, you get the owl. Listen to your intuition. I love this. I love this. With opportunity knocks and letting go, this is literally ending cycles, surrendering to the divine as they bring in new things for you to pursue. I want to say pursue because they feel like endeavors. Um, it could be people, it could be relationships. Let's tap right there so it focuses. Ah, there we go. Hello, welcome, welcome to the party. So we get the letting go opportunity knocks. Go for it and learn to let go. Go for it. This is literally take that leap of faith. It's that fool energy. And this is, I'm not shocked by this because we are going into a shift right now. We're going into end of eclipse season around this time. and. Things have been very stagnant for a few weeks and we're getting into this, okay, time to get shit done mode, right? And it's need to let go of that stagnancy, let go of the blocks we've had within ourselves because they haven't been exterior to us. It's been our own block in regards to being open to receiving, right? And learning that when I finally release and I surrender and I remove my blocks, that's when I get opportunities that present themselves to me. So I like this, I like this Leo, it's movement. It's movement forward, it's movement toward the good. Let's see what's going on for you guys for June 22nd to the 28th. You wanna book a personal re reading with me? What? Leo, the sun and the wheel of fortune, happiness, moving forward, this is you, Leo energy. I am open for personal readings. Check out my website down below. $10 off your first hour long reading with me if you're a new client from June 10th to the 20th. So let's see what's going on for you guys. Show me what I need to see for my Leos for June 22nd to the 28th. What messages of love, healing, guidance do we have for Leo, please, for June 22nd to the 20th? Perseverance, which is very strength energy, which is also your major arcana card. Past, present. Who this? You have the two of cups, the lovers, and temperance, all in the reverse. Letting go. It's heavy. I don't think, what? Ace of Cups reverse, Hermit reverse, Four of Swords reverse, Two of Pentacles reverse, Three of Wands, Ten of Cups. Overall energy. I heard giving up with the Eight of Pentacles right away. Giving up, wow, followed by the Seven of Pentacles, followed by the Three of Swords, and then the Five of Cups. This is your person. I don't think it's you, Leo. I think it's your person. So we got the five of cups, right? The upset, the, the emotional, it feels yucky. It feels yucky. It's emotionally being, I'm hearing withdrawal. Some of you could be dealing with an addict to be very blunt. Some of you are definitely dealing with an addict or somebody who uses substances as a vice to deal with their depression, to deal with when they're upset, when they're in a five of cups energy. They're trying to let go of those habits because they know it's actually becoming a divide between you two if that's a reason you aren't with somebody, right? Um, eight of pentacles, seven of pentacles. Somebody wasn't making an effort in this connection and actually caused a lot of heartbreak. This is the overall energy. I just hit my funny bone. It hurts really bad. You probably heard it. Oh my God. Um, this is your person. They're heartbroken. I don't really think you care. Sorry, Crosswatcher. Leo, I don't even think that you've spoken to this person in a while. I feel so bad saying this. I feel so bad for the Crosswatchers right now. I think your, your partner, your person is very upset and you're kind of like, I'm moving forward. This isn't even on my mind. Why are you showing up in my reading? I came here to see what's coming. Why are you taking it over, right? Yeah, it feels like your person. They realize that they weren't doing the necessary work on themselves. Ow, as I hit myself. Oh, I'm a mess right now. <laughs> as, I hit this, 
as they hit themselves, Jordan, stop. They weren't doing the necessary work on themselves to help themselves heal from whatever addictions they had, but also um, they weren't putting work into the connection. They weren't growing up. So let's see what this is. Recent past, we have the Two of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles, all in reverse. You have the number two twice, right? The number two is about partnership. It's also about indecision and crossroads, right? It's a lot of indecisive energy, not knowing what to do about this connection, not knowing how to fix it. This is your person's perspective in the recent past. So let's see what's going on here. Current situation, sorry, let me show them to you and not be so eager to clarify. The Two of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Ace of Cups, all in reverse. Your person still wants this. They know it's done, though. They know it's done. The Lovers in reverse, the Hermit in reverse, and the Three of Wands. Yeah, they did not make the decision to actively heal themselves and go in solitude, and so they were just waiting. Waiting around for their Leo. Where's my Leo? Where's my Leo? Gemini, Virgo, energy here with the Lovers and the Hermit card. They needed to do the healing for this connection though. Very strong soul connection with the Two of Cups and the Lovers. Uh, definitely a karmic partner. You're their catalyst. You're their catalyst, meaning you trigger healing for them. You trigger change for them. You trigger transformation for them. And for you, it's kind of like, well, the time has come and gone. I have things that I need to get to. That's really what it feels like. Media future, temperance in reverse, four swords in reverse, 10 of cups. They want closure. They want closure on this connection because that's what's stopping them from moving forward. They they have a lot of love for you. The, they're accepting of it ending, but they want the closure. The Four of Swords and the Temperance is screaming closure to me. It's not even that they want to heal or reconcile or fix the situation. They just want closer, closure. They accept that you want space because I keep hearing you want space. You're just over it. You're done. You're done waiting, which I'm not shocked because right now we're getting into collectively, we're going to this time of shifting into a higher consciousness and are we bringing people that were really our soul tribe with us. So if you have really close friends, girlfriends, guy friends, family members, your soul group, people that resonate with you, do you want to bring them with you on your journey forward? So you're going to realize, am I growing so fast that these people don't resonate with me anymore? And if you slowly notice the communication dwindling out or getting awkward or things changing, it's because you're moving in different directions. Be accepting of that because good things are coming in. Remember letting go opportunity knocks. When we release things that welcomes in new energies. So, Let's see what we got going on, Leo. What messages do we have for my Leos for June 22nd to the 28th, please, Spirit? What messages of love, human guidance do we have for my Leos? June 22nd to the 28th. Why is the Eight of Pentacles the overall energy? Eight of Pentacles is in reverse, no less. I just keep hearing fed up. You're done investing in this. You're done working on it. You're, you're not even thinking about it. I don't, I don't really don't, I don't know why they're taking over your reading because, yep, you're over it. You're like, I don't feel abandoned. I don't feel lost. Uh, I'm, I'm totally good. I'm not out in the cold. I just thought we were done here. So, so yeah. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for cross watchers right now. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but it's true. And it's so strange that it's pentacles because it feels very romance. Yeah, chariot. I ain't moving forward with you, cancer energy. This isn't going anywhere, so I'm not going to invest in it. And I don't really feel an abandonment or a loss energy. I just feel like it's done. I'm moving on. <sighs> I feel so bad. <laughs> Let's talk about the Two of Cups in the recent past. There's the Three of Swords in reverse. And... Eight of Swords, Three of Wands, and what's this? Knight of Swords. Yeah, your person rather stay stuck and waiting for you. They'd rather be stuck and wait and wait and wait and wait for you, right? We already know this. Then do the healing. Then being honest with themselves and going within and doing the healing. Three of Swords, Knight of Swords. They don't like to look at themselves, honestly. I feel so bad for the cross watchers right now because this is all about them. This person does not like to look at themselves. They're very aware of how shadowy they can be and it's um, something that's hard for them to face, hard to th for them to, you're their solace. You're kind of like their light in the dark kind of energy. They go to you when they want to pick me up, when their vices aren't cutting it, when their addictions don't fix it. You're kind of a crutch for them. 
I feel so bad. Like I could cry. I feel so bad for this person. I smile when I feel uncomfortable. So if I'm smiling, that's why. Uh, tell me about the Ace of Cups in the recent past. Your person's not a bad person at all. I don't think that they were, I can already hear some of you. No, they were manipulative. They're narcissistic. Of course, some of you, yeah, it's a general reading, but in regards to the energy that I'm getting, I feel this person more is feeling a loss than they are genuinely feeling um, manipulative of any way. They feel immature, if anything. Um, they're trying to find clarity on their emotions. With the High Priestess and the Ace of Cups in reverse, they don't know how to love themselves. They're trying to figure out how to. They don't know how to. The High Priestess is spirituality, it's lessons, it's mystic. Knight of Cups, yep, trying to dig into their emotions because they want to pursue you. They do want to pursue you. They're trying to evaluate how they feel so they can come in with this offer because they, they don't have any clarity on it. They're confused. What? Now my battery's about to die. Dang it. Two of Pentacles, clarified by the Two of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Let's pause this and I'm going to switch my battery real quick. Hold on. We're back. Okay, so Two of Pentacles, clarified by the Two of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups in reverse. So they know there's a lot of love. They just don't know what to do about it, right? Let's focus that. Cool. Appreciate it. Ten of Cups, Two of Pentacles in reverse. They're depressed. They're depressed. They're depressed and they're pulling on you, which is why they're showing up in the reading. So if they cross your mind randomly or if you see them on your social feed or if you see them in the dream space, it's because they're they're longing for you. It's very much so. Yep, there's the lovers on top of the lovers, the hermit in reverse and the knight of coins. Instead of doing the healing, instead of making the conscious decision to do the healing, because it is you have the lovers twice. Very strong connection. They have a lot of love for you too, but then you get the lovers upright on top of it. They're they're hoping to fix this, to come in with a stable offer and fix this, whether it be a friendship or a romantic connection. They really do want to fix it, but they're they're ignoring the need to do this healing, the hermit in reverse. Because they're just waiting. They're just waiting for you. They're just waiting, waiting, waiting. Where's my Leo? Where's my vice? Where's my Leo? Where's where's my help? Because we have the hermit in reverse on top of the lovers, and then we have the hermit in reverse in the center of the reading. So let's see why they're resisting this healing. They just want to move forward. They want to skip it. They want to skip it. Six of swords on top of the hermit. They just want to skip it. Tell me more about the hermit. They don't want to stay stuck in it, and instead of facing it, they really just want to move forward. Ten of swords, and then, yeah. They want the pain to end and they, they just, they want you. Yeah, they want you, Leo. Libra, uh, Taurus energy here with the Empress. Virgo energy with the Hermit. Gemini twice with the Lovers. New person's really depressed. They're actually hurting a lot. They're struggling to move forward. They want to come toward you because they, they see you as this Empress. They see you as a very nurturing, very loving, very comforting for them. Um, mother figure mother figure over and over yeah it feels um if even if it is romantic they they come to you for that nurturing loving security for the security for the for a feeling of safeness right because um, even though they have their vices their addictions right they don't feel safe with it it's just to escape it to avoid it but with you it's almost the the safety to finally confide to to feel a little bit right instead of numbing there's a difference i can feel with you right i can express things with you because i feel safe with you but i use my vices to numb it so i don't have to face it so they're also drawing you back to letting go this is for your person as well needing to let go because they have better things and they they're not even opening up to these opportunities because they refuse to do the work Let's talk about the three of wands. Am I taking all the hard yes real quick? Yeah, they're going to come in with communication. They can't let you go. They want a new beginning. They don't want to fight, but they're willing to give this another try, whether it be a friendship or a romantic partnership, because I do feel both. Get the eight of wands, four of pentacles, ace of pentacles, holding on to you, hoping to create a new solid foundation with you. A lot of very fast. They're going to come in very quickly because they get tired of waiting. They're tired of waiting for their ships to come in with the three of wands as the overall energy. They're very tired of waiting. They want their, they really want to avoid conflict though. They, I, I feel very guarded energy from you, like uh, guarded because you're taken off guard, kind of like, where you been? You know, you haven't been around, I've been doing me. And you're going to recognize 
them in a dark place. I know this Nine of Wands looks really cute and all this stuff, but it feels horrible to be quite honest. It feels very bad. They, uh, you, I feel this, um, it's like you feel bad for them when they approach you because you, you know it, one, they had to really humble themselves to do this and two, that they're in a very dark place just by their approach. You can see, you can see they're hurting because it's a strong connection on a soul level. You can feel it when, when they speak, even if it's by the way they text, you're going to know. But they don't want to fight. They have no interest in fighting. I don't see them coming in fighting. They're just going to be coming in rather quickly, abruptly is the word. Let's talk about the temperance in the immediate future. I keep hearing closure with this. Yeah, no more stalemate. They don't feel stuck anymore. I like it. Tell me more about temperance. The fool in reverse. They're scared of, yeah, they're scared of independence. They're scared of a new beginning. They're coming to you to help them, one, with closure, but also to get hope, to get the reassurance that they can be stable as an individual, that they don't need vices, they don't need crutches. They see a new beginning as a risk. It's very scary to them to move forward by releasing vices, whether it be you, whether it be their addictions. They, they really want to embrace this energy and that I think that's what they're actually approaching you to talk about. I wanna be independent, I wanna be healthy, I wanna be secure in myself and I just, I want you to help me with that, please. Could you please help me with that? It, it feels almost like a pleading Tell me about the Four of Swords. It's very heartbreaking, to be honest. There's something about this moon card that's very heavy. I'm hearing Taurus. They might have a moon in Taurus. So you get the moon and the Knight of Wands on top of the Four of Swords. They're so eager to move forward. They really don't want to look at their emotions. I don't see the moon here as illusions or secrets or anything that's hidden. I see it more as they don't want to look at their emotions. They don't want to look at their shadow. They don't want to look at the dark side. They want to skip it. They rather be impulsive. They don't want to do, they're still resisting the healing is what this is with the Knight of Wands and the moon card and the, especially the four swords in reverse ran underneath the hermit in reverse on the board, right? They're very resistant to looking at their emotions and that's actually what's causing stagnancy. So let's look at this 10 of cups. This is your connection with them. This is also what they want to move toward with or without you. They just, they just want to be happy. I think you both do. We have the 10 of cups in reverse in the recent past though. And then we have it upright in the immediate future. So I like this. It's a shift in energy, which is really nice. It's also completion of cycles and look what we got the world card, the queen of cups and the ace of swords. So yeah, um, the ace of swords is in reverse. This is scarcity. Yeah, scarcity. Um, they don't think that they have it within them to be able to do this. And that's the ego because then the devil came out with the ace of swords, both in reverse. A lot of, they need to do the shadow work. They need to be honest with themselves about their addictions, right? The devil about their vices, the devil about their ego, their pride, all that standing in the way. And you're actually going to be very loving and nurturing towards them and help them complete the cycle. And this is what they needed because I don't think they had a true support system around them. They feel very um, solitary. Leo. It's actually really heartbreaking. It's not fun. Um, 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 I do want to pull some cards from the universe for you guys. I know I haven't done it for all the signs. I'm sorry, but when certain readings, I'm being called to do it, I'm going to do it. It's my channel. I can do what I want to do. <laughs> Tell me what I need to see, please, for Leo in regards to the spread. What advice do we have for Leo in regards to the spread? I'm hearing be compassionate. Cause I think you're gonna be like, why are you back? Like, why are you back around? And I'm hearing be compassionate. Show me what I need to see for Leo in regards to this connection. Yep, don't be emotionally detached, be compassionate. Eight of cups in reverse. Cause this is gonna be your in, in, um, instinctive. I was getting instinctive and intuitive at the same time. This is what you're going to want to do is shut down emotionally to this person when they approach you. Like, I'm sorry, why are you back? Right? Tell me more for Leo in regards to this connection. What advice do we have for Leo? Okay. Tower and the Six of Wands and the Ten of Wands and Death. King of Cups in reverse, Ace of Wands in reverse. And let's see which one fell on the floor. Oh, which two fell on the floor? Yeah. Chariot and Nine of Wands. Okay, so your advice from spirit, don't emotionally detach because it's actually part of your soul's path as well to help them through this transformation because you're both going to 
Um, I'm hearing resurrection for so many of these readings, but it, it's just, if this is romantic, I don't see you being romantic partners again. Let's just be very clear about that. If this is friendships, I see you two finding solid ground, okay? Solid, common ground, healing old wounds, right? But more so, you're helping this person move forward on their path, right? The tower and the six of wands. This is helping somebody go through a transformation so they can head in the right direction. And spirit's like, please don't emotionally abandon this person or detach from them. Why? Because they need to end this very painful cycle. And look what they're showing up as, the king of cups in reverse. And who are you? The queen of cups. So we have a true pair, right? A true pair, but as we know, your person's very shadowy. They're in a very devil, very low vibe energy. They need your assistance. I'm hearing mentor, teacher, mentor, be there for them. Yeah, because they're struggling to move forward to this new beginning because of all their anxiety and feeling bound to their vices, feeling bound to the things that they go to to deal with the stress, the anxiety, the nine of swords energy. And that's actually what stopped the movement forward and the passionate new beginning, this ace of wands energy, right? Okay, Leo, this is what I have for you. I hope this resonated. Um, please like, share, subscribe, and if you guys want a personal reading, you can book it down below in the description box. Otherwise, I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye. Are we still recording?